For all the latest updates, subscribe to News9. Putting someone into a suspended state of sleep looks to be possible as scientists have found out a way to trigger mammal brains to go into a state of hibernation. Researchers from the University of Tsukuba and Harvard Medical School identified the trigger in the brain of mice that put them into a state of hibernation. In a study by US scientists, they identified a population of brain cells that controlled torpor and simulating those brain cells called hibernations. The US study is unrelated to Japanese study by the University of Tsukuba, but both proved similar hypothesis. Japanese scientists claimed that they also triggered hibernation in rats. They don't usually hibernate, whereas mice do. Hibernating animals can lower their body temperatures to reduce energy expenditure during times where the availability of food is very limited, especially during the winter season. Bears, skunks and bats are some of the well-known animals that hibernate. Researchers said that they were surprised to find that triggering neurons could induce hibernation. The mice stayed still and were very cold, the opposite to what they expected. The researchers say that inducing synthetic hibernation in humans is a possibility if humans have the same set of brain cells. This could be useful in reducing tissue damage and preserving organs for transplantation. The process could also have a large number of medical benefits. Suspended hibernation could improve recovery rate during surgeries or any illness. Researchers have said that the findings will help them to understand the brain's role in controlling bodily states. We knew that the hypothalamus coordinates the majority of the body's autonomic processes like thermoregulation, circulation, body weight and energy balance. From these studies, we learn that hypothalamic neurons guarantee not only stability but can also shift this control from life in the fast lane to life in the slow lane. A key next step will be to study more species. It will be interesting to see how these cells differ between hibernators and non-hibernators. The new findings could help in traveling in space. Interstellar movies have shown astronauts hibernating in a pod for a long time before waking up. Scientists have pondered over various challenges of space travel and suspended animation is one of them. The new research and findings, if successfully done on humans, could aid space travel and help astronauts to breach the space boundaries. As hibernation has been successfully induced in mice, the same could be done for humans in the near future.